what's up and welcome back to another video today we got another how-to for y'all and today's how-to is going to be on how to change your dirt bike wheel bearings i hope y'all enjoy and let's not waste any time like always let's get straight into the video first step you want to take your wheel off you're going to come right here and on newer bikes it's a little bit different they have them on both sides on my bike it's just on this side so you loosen this up We're going to go cross pattern. So here, 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 here. And you should better just do them with your hand. Just get them pretty loose to where this thing's moving. All right. Next step, whatever size your axle is, you're going to want to loosen that up. come over here on these newer bikes it's just a straight axle that goes through and on the other side it's a nut but on the bike that I'm working on we're changing the uh, bearings in it we're just gonna this is just a straight axle and this part is threaded so you just gonna unscrew it and we'll be back when we have the wheel off next step is once you take your axle out you just want to spray it with a little bit of carb cleaner or soak it in some gas just to get all the old grease and sand and stuff off of it. And the spacer, most bikes have two of them. Mine has one. You spray it, get it clean. And you want to go back to your wheel. And this is how you take them out. They have these sealers. Right here, these rubber things. Just grab something and just pop them out. And clean these two. Alright, you want to grab two pieces of wood because if you have disc brakes, hydraulic brakes then you don't want to bend your disc so you just put it on each side of the tire and you're gonna get something like this or a longer extension I don't have a longer one so I'm just use a push rod out of the engine grab something to hit it with and you're gonna put it in here at an angle the way you're on the bearing and just tap them out. Go a couple taps on that side and then go the opposite side and then just keep going each corner because if you don't come if you don't come out even it won't come out. And there it goes, it's out. Popped right out. And there will be this middle thing, it's like a spacer. It goes in between each of the bearings. And you just wanna clean all of this stuff too. And we'll be back when we get this other bearing out. Next step is just like you clean your axle and the spacers and all that kind of stuff. You wanna spray a little carb cleaner, contact cleaner, put a little bit of gas in there, anything that'll degrease and get rid of the old grease. You wanna spray some in there and you can use a wire brush or anything that can get all the old sand out there. You don't want to sand it down, but you just want to clean it out. And you can use a little wire brush like this and just clean it all out. But I have this little tool. You put a, it's a Dremel and you just put a little wire brush on it. It works way quicker. It'll be done in like five minutes instead of ten. Uh, and we'll be back when we have all of this cleaned out. You want to make sure everything is completely clean. Alright guys, we're back. We finished cleaning everything and just getting it really clean. You don't want no rust, no dirt. And if there is rust, then you need to do a better job of cleaning your stuff. 
Alright, so first step, you're going to put your bearing right in there, level. If it's not level, it's not going to go in. You want it flat. And just give it a tap. Alright, now you got it started. Yo, you don't ever want to use a hard hammer. Now you got it started. Grab a socket that'll fit on there. One that'll fit around the perimeter of it. So like, like this one's perfect. And see how it's on the, the middle e uh, metal edge? That's perfect. Cause you don't want to mess up your bearing. And then you take it and just tap. And if it starts to not go in even, just tap on that side because it's not starting to go in even right here. It's up more than over here. So just tap on that side of the socket. Alright, whenever your bearing's flush, I mean, obviously you're going to better feel it, but, you know, whenever it's in there enough, you, you can know, common sense. Alright, now here's where you want to grab some grease. Is any kind of grease, really. I mean, grease is grease. You can get this kind of stuff from Dollar General, but I'm going to use this stuff that I got in the mail. I ordered this. Look, don't. Don't be greedy. Put a lot in there. Alright, now if this is your first time ever doing this, you probably mess up and not put this piece in there and then you gotta hit your bearings back out. So make sure you put your middle piece back in there. You want to put some grease on that and just coat it. Not super thick, but just light grease on it. Alright, you just pop it in there. Then take your other bearing. Put some grease on it. Not much, just a little bit. You already got some in there, so it should be fine. And once you got it like that, take your socket. And just, just hit it in there. It's flush, so it's good. Alright, and now, flip it back to the other side. This bike does not have a sealer on both sides, but most of them will. But this is your sealer. There's also a little spring in here. Just like that. You want to make sure that that's in there. That helps in sealing it. You just put that over it. Grab your rubber mallet. And look, it's a rubber mallet. It ain't gonna mess it up. So just hit it in there. Make sure that your bearings are spinning good. They're all spinning good. Now you're ready to put your wheel back on. And also a bunch of other videos say that you need a torch to get them out. If you're having a hard time getting them out, a torch might help. But I mean, just get something and just tap them and just go even. Just tap a little bit harder. Right. Won't now you're ready to put your wheel back on. You want to grab your axle and this spacer thing. Grab your wheel. And if, if you have hydraulic brakes, you don't, well, once you take it off, you don't want to squeeze your brakes or they'll mess, they'll get messed up. 
You just want to roll your wheel through, line it up with the brake pads. Get it in there. We got our axle through the hub into this other part. Like I said earlier, on these older bikes, this part is actually threaded. There's not a nut that goes on, it's just threaded. But on the newer one, all you would do, put your axle through, slide it through, and you just put your nut on. But the bike we're actually working on right now, you just put it in, and once it started threaded, you just tighten it up. Thread it through until there's a like that lip of the bolt is a little bit past this piece. And then now what you want to do, you just want to tighten these up. Remember what I said earlier, you want to go cross pattern. So here, 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 and then here. Tighten them all up with your hand and then go like half a turn. Half a turn. Well, this one's really loose, so you want to go a little bit more until so they get snug. Alright, now you just want to tighten them up all the way. Alright, and we will make sure it spins. In our case, she's spinning. So, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. And see you on the next one. Well, that was it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope it was helpful to y'all. And I hope it helped y'all be able to learn how to change your dirt bike wheel bearings. And if there's any anything y'all need help with, any questions, anything you would like me to help help y'all with, just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments uh, some more things y'all want to see, like what y'all want to see me do, any how-tos or anything like that. Just let me know in the comments. And... I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.